hotel. I haven't played the Tales of Arise yet, and I already made two plushies of it. And I'm gonna show you how I made them. My hotel plushies have something special. They have swappable eyes to vary his expression. You can also make one with normal eyes if you want to, but with a couple of strong magnets, you can make your plushies even more unique. Twenty-five per fifty centimeter wide for fur, bit of thick white fleece, any air drying clay, or buttons, plush or pillow stuffing, tiny wire, a bit of red ribbon, paint and varnish. So first up, I'll show you how I made the eye. I got this mold with various fair shape. I squeezed air drying clay in it and I top it with a magnet. And I love to use epoxy sculpt because it's super solid and it's sticky enough to stick the magnet in it without any glue. You can use a button if you are making just one set of eyes. I'll use the rest of the activated clay to mold the beak of the I put a little wire in it so I can fix it to his face. Let dry a couple of hours. Now we will cut the face and arms part from the white face. Make sure that the stretch goes from the side of his face. You can make it with the stretch going up from down, but I think it looks better with his face stretch from the sides. Don't forget to add sewing allowance around the face part and mark the eyes, nose, arms and the medallion position with a water soluble marker so you can remove it later with just a little bit of water. Once you cut the arms, I take acrylics and I mix it with fabric medium. It helps the paint sink into the fleece and make a smooth gradient. Let it dry truly and rate the fabric paint medium level on how to set the paint permanently. Normally you need to wait 24 hours for it to dry. Now that you have a set of eyes and the beak dry, I sand them with a file before painting. Put a black base coat on the eyes the beak. Then I put dark bronze paint on both of them. Painting circles is tricky, so I made stencils with stickers and a puncher for the for the pupil. I use a thick black pen to make little marking. Then I paint a golden iris on both eyes. Using a mix of bronze and black, I add the shades and a darker circle in the middle of both eyes. I add golden glitters on the irises, because why not? Then I add a top coat of varnish to make the eyes very glossy. And using tiny drops of white varnish, I add reflex on both eyes. And then the eyes are done. Now to cut the plush bodies. Make sure the fur goes in the direction you want. It can go either up or down. I think it I like it better when the fur goes up. It looks up more fluffy. Trace the pattern on the full fur. Leave yourself the same allowance you want between each piece. I trace the sewing line to sew on them. Don't forget to trace the horn and medallion position on the front piece. Cut your pieces with tiny snips so you don't cut off the fur on the meat. Hold on to the scrap pieces to use them later. Sew the pieces together. I sew them by hand for more control. Don't forget to leave a space on the back of the plushies for stuffing. Same goes for the wing. 
Leave a space to turn the pieces inside out. And close them with the stitches. Use a grooming brush to make the fur pop up of the seam. First we cut about 4 cm long piece of red ribbon. Seal the edge of the ribbon, fold it and pin it on the bottom half of the face, then sew it. If you make a magnetic eyes, put two magnets on each side of the face, so they stick together. Put the eyes on top of them to see if the magnets are on the right side. Turn them around if they are not. Then on the back of the face, I use white fabric scraps and I sew the magnet on the face part. When I set the paint with my iron, I melted the fleece a little. But I think it looks good because it's more flat and have a crisp look to it. Now attach the horns on both sides of the face. And now you put the beak on. Using an owl, using an owl, using an owl, poke two holes, put the beak in. Then you fold the wire to secure the beak into position. And now the face is complete. On the front body piece, trace a line 5mm from the face stitch line and cut the hole. Right sides together, you pin the face and the hole matching the horns and medallion mark. And then you stitch in place following the sewing line. And now you turn the plushie inside out. And you are almost done. You pick the fabric leftovers and you can begin to stuff the plush until you get the shape you want. Then you sew the stuffing hole and put the wings on and brush the side with the grooming brush. All is left is to make the medallion now. Use any clay you want to shape it. I used Super Sculpey because I wanted to try it out. I found a bottle cap the size I wanted the medallion, so I use it as a mold. Use a large needle to poke a hole on the top of the medallion to sew it to the ribbon. When it's dry, you paint the medallion with acrylics and you can sew it to tell. And your plush is done. Or are you done? You can make extra pair of eyes. To make the semi-closed eyes, you first need to make an extra pair of eyes. And you glue a piece of fleece on the top half of the eye. And you cut the extra fabric. To make the closed eyes, you paint the bottom of the eyes with white varnish and you cover the rest with white fabric. And there you have it! You have your little guy! I hope you liked the tutorial! Have a good day and thank you for watching!